Welcome back team. You're gaming with the Colonel and this is Ultimate General Civil War. We just finished the second battle of Bull Run and uh, I think we knocked it out early which is normally not the case which is pretty good. We're going to go ahead and add some uh, additional supply up here just because and then we're going to go to the battle map. We did all of our uh, our camp stuff in the last episode. We'll start with Crampton's Gap and we'll see what they have for us. The rebels have, for the first time, decided to invade northern soil. Lee has split his forces. That's not good for him. <clears throat> Splitting your forces. You never split the party. It's a D&D &D reference, I know. All right, in the last episode, we said that we were going to use the third core to try to get some experience for them here. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, they're not very good, but they're not going to get good unless we use them. Uh, they've set up a force guarding the gap. We need to attack it. Well, that's suboptimal. Uh, more of our forces are a half hour behind, but the garrison of Harper's Ferry will soon run out of time. We need to move fast. Okay, so let's see here. This guy has 1,300 soldiers. He has 1,500, so he needs to come in. Let's uh, bring... Let's check the weapons here. 1,300, 1,200. He's got Springfields. That's why he was there. This guy's got Springfields. Let's move him up. He's got 1,500, so we're going to move him up. We're going to drop him out. And we really kind of want to... Well, it's only four brigades. Let's bring him up. Although he's only 1,000 guys. He is 1,000. 1,000. He's 1,500. Yep, he's our man. Um, did we just accidentally drop one? That's the one we want. Okay, so, and we want to take that. So we're going to start the battle, hit the pause button. Gosh, I know this is going to be a shit sandwich if I run right up into that. Um, <clears throat> run, run, run. You. Run, run, run. You get right up in the center. Run, run, run. And run, run, run. McClellan. All right, you can come here. You can come up as well. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, they're already there. They're bombarding me already. I'm already losing men. <coughs> so let's see what happens. We spotted the 16th Virginia. And looks like some more guys, so... You go ahead and engage. You get up here and do this. You get up here and do that. <clears throat> He's turning, and I'm okay with that. Looks like most of the fighting is going to be done over here in the woods. Oh, he's got a lot of guys here. More than I thought. You need to turn. Let's light him up. Wow, he does have a truck ton of dudes here. Okay, we've routed him. Let's uh, move across. And we've been routed as well. We really need to engage these guys. You need to get some better cover, please. You're only at 70. <clears throat> they took a beating. Turn around. Come on, Naylor. Don't be so wimpy. <laughs> get reformed. 
oh, I don't know what just hurt me, but something hurt me bad. Took me like down by just a truck ton of guys. Um, all right, Naylor, come on, get back in the game. Get back in the game. You're still not there yet. Compton's Gap, we got to capture that. Okay, we probably shouldn't have played that the way we did. Um, well, you gonna move or what? Hold your fire and move. Nope, hold your fire, move. You, Squirmish, this guy. See what we can get done here. Oh, he got backed up. That's unfortunate. Okay, you need to go ahead and open fire now. Come on, Morton, get back in the game. Only being able to bring, what, four brigades? That was not great. Oh, good. The rest of our forces are here. They are well needed. Let's move on up. <clears throat> oh, you can just stomp this guy. Kill him. Attack. Shoot him. Oh, boy. Hetzelman was killed. He was on my GOs, too. <clears throat> These guys are covering that flank. That's pretty smart of them. Um, 